This presentation outlines the production process we will be using for this class. In your syllabus for this class, you will find details on where to order these drawing supplies. You will need 8.5 by 11 paper that is punched with standard animation holes. For pencils, I suggest a number 2 Dixon Ticonderoga brand. It is the industry standard and can be found in most stores where pencils are sold. You'll need a professional animation peg bar to ensure that all your drawings are in register with each other. We will be using Disney animator Eric Goldberg's book, Character Animation Crash Course, for this class. It is an excellent basic book that will easily get you started. Since you will be animating from drawing to drawing, it is best to be able to see the drawings behind the one you are working on. You can tape the peg bar to a glass tabletop and put a light under it, or tape the bar on a window, or purchase a light table. The only hardware you'll need is either a Mac or a PC computer with an attached scanner. You will be scanning your drawings into a computer in order to assemble them into a movie. There are many software packages to use to create an animated film from drawings. Most of them are expensive. So to economically get you started, if you're using a PC, you will be downloading a free copy of Taptoon's Animation Studio. If you are using a Mac, you will be downloading for $49 the software program iStopMotion 2. There will be five steps to complete an actual class assignment from drawing to movie. I will be going into more detail on these steps in the next PowerPoint presentation. The first step is to draw the animation using the instructor supplied guidelines. In step two, the drawings are individually scanned into the computer, being careful to maintain registration so that the images don't jump around in the final movie. Next, you will open either Taptoon's Animation Studio for the PC, or if you're using a Mac, you will open iStop Motion 2. After these programs are launched, you'll first create the proper basic settings. As I said, I will be showing you how to do this in the next presentation. In step 4, you will be importing the scanned images into Taptoons or iStop Motion. The last step is to create your final animated movie. Taptoons on the PC will be exporting an AVI movie, and iStop Motion on a Mac will be exporting a QuickTime movie. I suggest that if you are creating AVIs, that you open them in QuickTime so you can more easily analyze your animation. Now let's go into these steps in a little more detail in the next presentation.